All right, hello everyone. What is up, Tim or Yuzora Dreams with another Kingdom Hearts video? But before we actually start, I actually want to thank everyone from the previous video that supported me uh, on, you know, simply the channel along with the video. I didn't expect the video to actually blow up. Like, I mean, I'm recording this video right now, 1 a.m. Uh, very late at night. I know uh, I don't have enough time in the during the day, but. Um, Literally, literally, we reached over a thousand views within 24 hours. It hasn't even hit 24 hours exactly yet. Um, and that's crazy to me, especially for a very small channel like mine. But anyway, I want to make a follow-up video like I promised in the previous video. Because I want to be more organized uh in in this particular video if you guys are very curious on what's happening with the kingdom hearts 3 uh pc settings and all that if you guys are curious of, of how it works or how does kingdom hearts 3 operate because this game is actually really different compared to the many of the base games on console uh i also do understand that many of you guys uh, i, I want to apologize before I, before we really get onto it I want to also say I, I apologize for rambling too much, but I was extremely tired, and also during that recording of the video, I was I had no sleep. I just played Kingdom Hearts three. There's a lot of emotions coming in. Uh, Kingdom Hearts three on the PC, of course, um, and I don't blame anyone who wants literally a better video from me. So here I am making this video. Anyway, what makes this whole game different? Compared to this game. I didn't even mean to press continue. So. When you're starting up a new game. Already you see. That critical mode. Is already accessible. And this fixes. Many things for players. Who want a, a actual challenge in the game. Because honestly. Standard and proud is, is, is honestly easy. Way too easy. And uh, critical. Putting on critical mode really puts on the challenge for everybody, and I think they'll like and appreciate Kingdom Hearts 3's gameplay more uh, when having this on. But uh, when you start a new game, let's just say, let's just start with Prowl mode, right? And also, by the way, with critical mode, uh, the only way to unlock critical mode in, in the console versions is basically uh, you would have to beat the whole game in your first playthrough. But now, in your first playthrough, you're able to access critical mode, which is amazing, honestly. I think it's the best thing uh, they could have done, just to make things way more easy. And uh, especially to people who are very impatient and just want to just jump into things, you know? So we're going to skip this scene and get on with it and show what else um, is in here. What makes this game so incredibly different uh, when it comes to the base game and I wish I wish uh, or hopefully Square Enix will do this to the consoles and 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 literally patch all this out but here let's move on with it because 100% like the PC now is the dominant platform to play Kingdom Hearts no lie this is all just facts because of the accessibility options already of, uh, of how you could just access critical mode from the get-go. And not only that, I'm about to show you why uh, this is completely different. So let so in the beginning of the game, you do choose basically your skills, uh, what will be your skills uh, throughout your playthrough or your beginning stats, if anything. So after you are done picking all your skills, you have another little event that wasn't originally in the base game until Remind came out back uh, last year. And here it shows three pictures. The Clown Sora, Cage 1 Sora, and Cage 2 Sora. And I like how they, they show Cage 2 Sora for this one certain reason. Uh, which I will get into as well. So, uh, they asked, what kind of adventure do you seek? And right here, it says choose your playstyle. Now, this was never in the base game, and you would only have this if you purchased Remind last year. So, this is a whole new, completely different update. Basically, um, usual adventure is 
is self-explanatory. Uh, basically, just playing the game without the DLC, which I highly recommend a lot of people do play. Um, easy Adventure is, uh, is is using easy codes, which are basically cheat codes. Um, like, for example, you could one-shot enemies if you have this certain easy code on, uh, or there's this uh, one code where you can't even die, or you have auto HP and uh, magic recovery, so on and so forth. And the third one, which, show, which shows Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora, which also the community community really loves Kingdom Hearts 2, especially a lot of the hardcore Kingdom Hearts fans. Um, the third playthrough, Challenging Adventure, is Pro Codes, which basically, think of it as the easy codes uh, mechanic, but instead, you're structured, or you have a menu full of Pro Codes that restrict you uh, when it comes to playing it. Basically, you have more of a challenge in gameplay. So, for example, you could literally put down your whole uh, defense when you're in battle, uh, or while you're in battle, your, H your HP slowly goes down, so on and so forth. Basically, you're doing a lot of restrictions during your whole entire playthrough. Um, and I think this is a whole cool way for new PC players to witness because they're able to actually have more options, more accessibility um, for the price they're given. And uh, this is this is honestly just great. So let's just go for the pro codes on here. All right, you know what? I'm not going to go through a whole playthrough. I forgot I have to go through this uh, boss fight. So I'm actually going to quit the game and then reboot it and then show my file of how the menus work. All right, so now I have the game booted up, and this is where I last left off uh, before I made that whole video, which is which which, which was my previous video. But anyway, uh, you press the default control for the pause menu, or like just to go in the menu is four. I don't know why they chose four; could have been simply escape. And uh, here, this is the basically the easy codes. Uh, I did a little easy codes run because I, I didn't want to grind certain things. Because these things are basically uh, cheats I turned on so I don't have to grind throughout my playthrough. Uh, but I was still playing critical mode and everything was off. So it was just basically critical mode with a whole whole set of... Uh, uh, it's a whole playthrough without grinding. And this is what I mean where new players now have accessibility options to enhance their Kingdom Hearts experience. I think this is such a, a great game changer... Uh, especially for Kingdom Hearts 3, especially, like, not a lot of people, I guess, I guess you say, really enjoyed the experience when the base game came out in 2019. Um, but anyway, so there's that. And what makes this game so different as well, we're finally going to go into the PC settings, I'm sorry. I was showing what's different uh, with the base game for Kingdom Hearts uh, and all that. And also, the premium menu also applies to pro codes. Uh, so if you choose pro codes, uh, it will show the pro codes menu. But in my playthrough, I choose uh, easy codes. Anyway, so when you're on the menu, you could press escape to access the game's settings. Now, the first settings uh, here is languages, which obviously the text. Uh, I chose English because that's the, that's the thing I can understand. Um... And the voices are available in English and Japanese, no other uh, languages, unfortunately. Um, but what makes this also cool as well, I'm able to actually play Kingdom Hearts in Japanese because for the longest time, for many years, over 20 years already, Kingdom Hearts was never uh, accessible to the Japanese voiceover in the English versions, uh, English copies or Western copies of uh, Kingdom Hearts. So for the longest time, if you if you would want to hear a Japanese voiceover, you would have to buy a Japanese copy in Japan or wherever um, and play everything in Japanese along with the text in Japanese, which you wouldn't obviously understand. So this is already a big game changer uh, to Kingdom Hearts, and I'm having a whole different experience by just hearing the Japanese voices. Now, if you press backspace or space, um, you go back. Now we're going to go to the display options. Now with my monitor, I'm able to run it at uh, 
1440p resolution so that's what i did here and i'm playing it on borderless full screen you could play it on full screen and windowed as well you have options the typical pc options resolution scale whatever you want you know obviously this is just the default setting for 1440p and for frame rate what's really impressive is that you're able to play it on 30 60 120 and unlocked which i obviously did and refresh rate is uh on and i think correct me if i'm wrong but this is the uh v-sync of the game and i have that on uh for the heck of it I, like i said i barely touched my settings in the previous video um so that's why and you're able to uh, put display brightness which is just on zero i didn't even touch that i didn't want to play in hdr maybe i should we'll see my h uh my monitor my monitor can also support hdr uh and also again more accessibility options uh for those uh, who want a colorblind filter you're able to do that and this is just so insane i like how it also shows the uh japanese text on here but this is just insane on on here and you're able to change and change the strength as well see look at that accessible in every way look at that oh my god so i think that's really really cool already uh, and by the way, this is a whole different menu. The console versions don't even have this sort of settings on here. And uh, it's just crazy. Um, like, everything the PC has, the console doesn't even have yet. And that's probably an issue currently right now. And I hope to see patch updates coming in for these certain enhancements on these next-gen consoles. Now, I guess everyone wants to really look forward to, to this one is the presets. Or, I mean, not the presets, the graphics settings. Now, like I said, I just put everything on high. My, my presets on high, so I put everything on high. But you're able to actually customize it if you want. And you're able to put it on max settings or whatever. Um, so I just put it on high just to see if my computer could run it well. Um, and honestly, uh, I could probably run it on max. I mean, I'm hearing stories that people don't have the greatest uh, computer gaming computers. But they're able to run this game on max settings and, and hit many frames which is insane and probably um kingdom hearts 3 is the best part on pc hands down so here we have textures on high you're able to uh, let's let's go on, let's go on custom settings you're able to put it on max if you want shadows on max here's uh basically the lod settings anti uh aliasing uh motion blur i have it on i should actually have it off uh, i don't like having motion blur off but it's not really noticeable when i was playing um and like I said, the typical PC settings uh, you would see uh, when when playing here. And I think it's surreal that I'm seeing all these sorts of settings in Kingdom Hearts, which I'm I'm just so used to playing the game on console. It's been in console for so long, and it's great to access these certain graphic settings. There's a lot of uh, effects happening in Kingdom Hearts, and that's why you have all these variety of settings that you could lower down or put up. And I, I definitely do need to... Uh, see what's there, um, how my computer reacts when it's playing on max settings. Anyway, let's go on sound. And now here's another thing that the console people don't have, uh, which is very unfortunate. And this is something the community has been wanting for a very, very long time. It's just to have a simple uh, volume slider. So you're able to actually change um, what you want. See? See? And then background music. You're able to just change it. Sound effects, voices, so on and so forth. I'm glad there's more accessibility options in this game. Gamepad. Now you're able to show uh, what button inputs are displayed on screen to show which gamepad uh, you're able to have. Now, I don't have an actual controller that I could connect because a lot of my controllers are broken or with its USB. Um... So I can't show you everything, but from what I heard from uh, previous buttons, I mean not buttons, previous um, players who who played the other cage titles on PC, you're able to rebind um, button uh, certain buttons on whatever buttons you want on your controller, and I think that's even amazing. Um, and yeah, so type one is the Xbox button uh type or xbox controller type 2 is the playstation controller and type 3 is the uh the, the typical gamepad 
And then here, if you're playing on mouse and keyboard like me, because I want to experience KH on keyboard, uh, you're able to change your keyboard layout on whatever keyboard you have, right? See more accessibility options again. Um, and then you're able to actually rebind, uh, literally rebind, any of your keys if, if if the default keys are very weird to you which honestly they are very weird to me but i'm getting used to it uh but yeah more accessibility options and that's pretty much it when it comes to its game settings it's pretty uh simple uh but it's pretty simple and there's really nothing much uh nothing much to it other than knowing your cpu if it could run it or not and you could always access the game settings when you're in the game now i didn't notice originally at first when i first played it i had no idea that literally this was here in the menu i didn't know i had to press escape to access the game settings because originally i would have to access in the main menu um but yeah i didn't know that but let's see how well this this game is on high lights Oh my god, I'm blind now. Jesus Christ. Let's just show a little cutscene before I wrap it up. Uh, wrap up this video. Unfortunately, Epic's Game Launcher does not want to show frame rate. Uh, along with my NVIDIA overlay. Doesn't show its frame, frame rate, so I have no idea what it's running on. And, he and here's the Japanese voices. But in English text. This game is so crystal clear. It's like amazing. It's just crystal clear. Texture is so clean. And it runs so smooth, but I'm about to get bodied by these guys. Okay, so I was actually editing my video. I was about to finish it up. Uh, but I realized how choppy my gameplay footage was. And I don't know really why, other than maybe it's just the graphic settings or how this game is just made. Um... Because my, OB my OBS is pretty much fine. It's always been fine. Uh, so I'm assuming the game has something to do with it. Um, and right now I just turned off the refresh rate to see if that would make any difference. But I don't think it would. So I'm just going to stand still. Although you guys can't see how smooth the gameplay is on my end. Um, and it's unfortunate on your guys' end. It's it's choppy. But I want to I want to show you guys how detailed this level is look at the reflections on the floor already in the lighting it's insane to me how you get a game like this a beautiful game like this that's able to run over 60 i'm running over 60 right now guys i know it looks probably choppy on your guys's end but it looks insanely good just insanely good for what it is and let, let's tour around here real quick so we can just end it, the video in uh, the way it's supposed to be, you know? Here, let's get some gameplay in. The gameplay is super smooth as well. It's crazy. Playing on keyboard and mouse is all critical mode, by the way. Okay. Oh, God. I had a frame drop there because... Uh, I think because I'm recording. This is my first time recording the game. Actually recording a game with OBS. I use a, I used NVIDIA Broadcasts uh, in my previous video to capture it in... I guess you say in the smooth frame rate. Well, I wasn't even planning to record it. It just... It was recording in the background. But Jesus Christ, this is crazy. Anyway, comment down below what you guys think. And if you guys are big Kingdom Hearts fans, remember to subscribe to the channel. Because this is what I do when it comes down to Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I like to post content about Kingdom Hearts. Along with other Japanese games. And uh, I hope you guys look forward to more content. Because definitely uh, would love to make more Kingdom Hearts videos. Uh, especially on the PC. And also, by the way, would, would love to hear any resolution. Uh, or not resolution. Any solution. To this issue that I'm having with uh, my CPU having choppy frame rate on my OBS recording. Um, but for some reason, in my end, everything is fine. So, I don't know. Uh, comment down below 
Uh, remember to drop a like, subscribe, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. I hope you guys have a great day.